Hi, and welcome to Rattle Talk Entertainment. I'm Vernice Tentuko. Today we have the director of Ang Mission Amarawi Singh Story, um, Cesar Soriano, and of course the star of the movie, Martin Escudero. Hello. Hi. Hi guys. Welcome to Rattle. Hi. No, Thank you for having us. <laughs> Um, so, before we get into anything, can you tell us about the movie? What is the movie about? Um, what inspired it? Uh, Vernice, you know, mm -hmm. um, I'd like to uh, tell the Filipino people that uh, this is the first full-length movie of Marawi. And uh, we started this uh, film um, early uh, October last year. And um, it inspires us a lot to see that uh, our soldiers are really um, doing their best to protect the country. But we have to tell the story that uh, up to now, uh, the recruitments of uh, terrorists continue. And this is the reason why we want to, to tell the Filipino people uh, what really happened in Marawi, why uh -huh. terrorist, terrorism exists in this country. Sinabi mo kanina na you started shooting in January. Yes. Um, I, that's quite a short amount mm -hmm. of time to shoot a movie. You see, um, um, we can finish the movie in, in one month, mm -hmm. the shooting in or two months. Uh, the, the problem there is uh, we really have to consult a lot of people, uh -oh. the military side and the, our contacts from mm -hmm. those in Marawi to get the detail, the factual detail of uh, what really happened. And um, this is not the, the movie that depicts the heroism really of the soldiers, mm. but rather presenting the reasons, the root causes of terrorism in Marawi, in the entire Mindanao. Bakit may mga patuloy na nagsasabing sila'y pumapasok sa ganong klaseng mga kilusan dun sa grupo ni Isnilo Napilon? Bakit? Uh, marami silang na invite, marami silang yung supporter. Um, bakit saan ba nanggaling yung mga armas nila? Um, why a lot of young Muslims were enticed to to join the group? Uh -huh. um, totoo bang yung Islam ay uh, kung kailangan uh, yung mamatay ka at pumatay, ito ba yung uh, requirement para makapasok ka sa heaven? Mm. So these are being tackled in the film. And uh, I'm so happy that uh, uh, natapos namin kagad and uh, we're ready to show the film. Mm -hmm. And Martin, you play a character who is a nurse in the mm -hmm. beginning of the movie and then yan pala, he is working he is working with an extremist group. Mm -hmm. um, d what did you go to Mindanao to that area? Did you talk to people um, for research for the role? Uh, yung pangalan ng character ko rito si Sajid. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, plano talaga namin, pupunta kami doon. Uh, pukuha kami nilang shot sa Marawi, pero hindi na rin namin nagawa. Pero itong location namin sa Quiapo, um, dahil Muslim area yan, uh -huh. uh, guided kami ng mga imam nila, yung mga mas batang uh, Muslim doon na uh, ginaguide nila kami. Bawat uh, eksena, bawat detalye, talagang hinihimay namin, tinatanong namin sa kanila para wala kaming magawa na hindi sang ayon dun sa uh -huh. nakaugalian nila. Pati na rin may ingatan namin yung mga detalye, lalo na pag pinalabas na sa film. Mm -hmm. And I heard you learned how to speak with an accent, also a very specific <laughs> accent for the movie. And you promised me you would give us a sample of that accent. Ah, sige. Um, isa, yung mga isa sa mga magagandang lines doon uh, meron akong binitawan na line doon na uh, mas malinaw pa sa tubig sa lawan ng lanaw Ayan. <laughs> dahil isa sa mga importanteng details yon mm. yung yung lawa sa lanaw yun na. And si Sir Cesar kaya yes. na rin yun <laughs> <laughs> Hindi lahat ng naaayon ay tinakda. <laughs> <laughs> so, pumasa naman si Martin sa accent. Of course, accent. of course. Yeah. Walang, walang uh, uh, actor sa, sa bansa natin na uh, makakahigit sa ginawa ni Martin sa pelikula. <laughs> well, no, walang, walang. Uh, Martin's really very good uh, mm -hmm. actor and uh, so professional. Nakita ko, uh, talagang nagampan niya na mabuti yung 
yung isang role ng isang terorista naging spy sa gobyerno. Yeah. At uh, akala nung mga sundalo ay uh, kaanib siya ng pamahalaan. Mm. Yung pala ay uh, isa siya sa tumutulong na si Mote. And then, you know, the, the, the scene that um, yung uh, itatakas yung mga mauti, paano ba sila tumakas? And we know that uh, uh, may lake lang now. At doon mm-hmm. pumuslit marami yung mga mauti. Mm-hmm. So, uh, there are a lot of details um, uh, about uh, the, the siege na hindi na ipalabas sa media. Uh-oh. And uh, yun yung isa sa pinaka-highlights na film namin. Papa tinatakas through uh, the nurse, papa niya tinutulungan yung, yung mga mauti at that time. Mm-hmm. Dahil ano na yun, lapo-lapo na yun. Eh. So, yun. Did you have Martin in mind already when you were casting for the film? Actually, hindi namin kilala si Martin. <laughs> uh, hindi namin kilala si Martin. Uh, meron kami isang actor na na nakausap na. Mm. Pero because of the schedules, eh, hindi natuloy. So a friend of mine uh, recommended sa akin niya, uh, magaling si Martin. Sabi ko, sabi niya, may best actor yan. Sabi ko, sige. Ano na? Nung nakita ko, nung nakita ko siya. Nung nakita ko siya. <laughs> ko parang ito yung hinahanap natin. Mm-hmm. Ito yung hinahanap natin. Mm-hmm. Uh, na, ano lang, aksidente lang na nakuha ko yung role. Mm-hmm. Um, at first, parang meron akong character na gagampanan. Isa sa mga characters. Pero but, hindi ako yung lead. Ayan, accident lang yun. Mm-hmm. Tinakda so, lang, tinakda ng panahon. <laughs> so you were really, you really wanted to be in the movie? Uh, but for a mm, different character? Yes, yes. Oh, um, you're also, your character is also um, bipolar. He has a bipolar mm. personality. Why did, why was that aspect, the aspect of mental illness also worked into the story? Mm. Bakit siya importante? Um, first, um, clarify natin. Yeah. He is a nurse. At the Uh-oh. same time, he's a terrorist. Uh-oh. Okay? Yung pagiging nurse niya, um, he has to uh, at least uh, no, paano ang mag, mag-injection? Mm. Paano mag ng, ng IV? Eh, mga ganun. And then, uh, as terrorists, dapat yung mga mata niya, yung ginagawa nila, uh, paano ba napupuka yung damdamin niya kung uh, nakakita sa mga pictures ng mga ISIS. So, uh, pinakita namin sa pelikula. And, uh, sasabihin ba natin? Parang, Parang baka malaman natin. No, spo- spoiler kaya, alert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, merong, merong pangyayari sa buhay niya na parang nagpabago sa kanya. Uh, Nakikita mo parang matino ba itong tao na to? You know? mm. So, merong rason bakit kailangan, ba- bakit siya naging ganun. Uh-uh. Hmm. And how did you prepare for that kind of role? Medyo uh, intense siya, no? Uh, <laughs> uh, um, dahil first time kong gumawa ng gantong character. Uh, marami akong ginawa kasi um, dahil may background ako sa um, mga Muslim, nag-aral ako ng Quran. Pinag-aralan ko muna yung religious uh, life nila. Tapos uh, kasi napakalaki nung detalye sa kanila tungkol kay Allah. Eh. Mm. Talagang doon nila inuubos yung buhay nila. So, kailangan Pag naitapok mo pa lang si Sajid na masasabi mo talagang isa siyang Muslim. So, hindi ba dahil sa physical, sa pananamit, kundi yung feel niya bilang tao. Mapifeel mo talaga. At uh, uh, doon sa, kumbaga parang pinapasok ko na sa technical side yun, yung pagka-bipolar niya. Kasi mm-hmm. hindi naman pwede na all the time ginagawa niya, nagtumatalon yung personality niya. May mga nagti-trigger lang din talaga. Mm. Um, I hope this doesn't come off as anything, but I I was wondering if you had considered um, casting an actor from Mindanao <coughs> to play someone who is in Mindanao. Um, being uh, having been um, the Mindanao News Bureau chief of ABS CBN before, I was assigned in Davao. Um, I was even a kidnap victim. Mm-hmm. Um, I I would really want to have a Mindanao actor. Uh-huh. Um, but uh, it's not about that. Mm-hmm. It's about um, 
how we could uh, bring the best in the story, uh, having Martin in the film. Uh -oh. And alam mo, when, when we did the story, when we had this shooting, iba talaga eh. Iba yung, mm. iba yung ambience sa shooting na parang, wow, kakatapos lang ng gera sa Marawi. Mm -hmm. So we really have to do something na ito, uh, ma-justify natin itong scene na to. Uh, it's just like uh, in the other sets, in other movies, na parang, sige lang, uh, galaw lang. But yeah. ito, meron kang dapat sundin eh. Yeah. Ito yung detalye. Mm -mm. Kailan maging maingat tayo. Mm -mm. Sa script, merong nakalagay doon, magniniig si Sajid at saka yung girlfriend niya. But you see, you have to consider the religious sensitivity of mm -hmm. the Muslims. They are so conservative. Yeah. Hindi mo pwedeng, hindi pwedeng magalikan, hindi pwedeng, mga no, gano'n. Kasi yeah. uh, masyado silang, ano, masyado silang uh, conservative. Uh -oh. At uh, haram yun para sa kanila. Haram yun. So, um, para sa akin, um, okay lang sana kung may, may actor from it now, but uh, uh, magaling naman yung mga nakuha ng mga mm -hmm. actors. And, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, Magaling naman yung pagsasalita nila, uh -huh. nila uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I hope they like the film. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned your experiences. You've had a very colorful life. Mm -hmm. um, how did that play into the scenes or the story in the movie? I can still remember um, when I was kidnapped by the terrorists. Uh -huh. Nakikita ko yung mga araw na uh, they had this training. Um, mga bata na nagdadala ng mga baril. Um, ang, ang, ang nasa isip ko palagi is uh, people should know uh, that uh, they need education. Mm -mm. People should know that uh, uh, poverty is one of these, uh, the reasons why they're there. Uh, how to survive mm -mm. mga maling paniniwala because uh, we have this uh, internationally ISIS uh, inspired uh, uh -huh. factor. So, dapat kailangan malaman natin yun. And, and through this film, sa tingin ko, uh, having been the, the witness of, of all the, the, the conflicts in Mindanao, uh, patayan dito, patayan doon, yeah. the poverty and everything, insensitivity of the government, uh, I, I feel this is my responsibility to mm -hmm. also give my share through this film, maintindihan ng mga Pilipino. Uh -huh. Ano ba kailangan gawin? Bakit ba nangyayari ito sa atin? Mm. Yeah, parang it's a film that's been a long time coming. Yeah. No, despite the short yeah. amount of that's time right. you shot it. Right. Yeah. And uh, what's bothering me is, uh, pag hindi ito malaman ng mga tao, um, maaaring mas lalaki pa. Mm -mm. So, better act now. Uh, makita ng gobyerno ano yung mga kulang. Uh -oh. At uh, makita ng mga tao anong dapat suportahan at anong dapat paniwalaan. Mm -hmm. um, Martin, nag nagkwento ba si Cesar sa'yo sa, uh, sa set or something tungkol sa mga experiences niya para matulong ka with your character? Hmm. Uh, ang maganda kay Derek Cesar kasi lahat ng detalye talagang binibigay niya sa uh -oh. amin. Uh, yung, uh, kinikwento niya, oh, dati yung, ako yung naandyan sa lugar na yan, ganito yung ginawa namin, ganito mm -hmm. yung ginawa ko. Kaya, oh na apply din namin doon sa pelikula na alam namin talaga kung ano yung makatotohanan na dapat mangyari na hindi magmumukhang uh, cinematic lang ang dating na mm -mm. para lang for the sake lang ng film nila. Ayaw niya matulog siya sa film. Ha? Bakit? Tatakot siya baka may terorista sa ganyan. Oh no! Sa kiyapo. Tatakot siya baka may terorista siya. Sa kiyapo. Stay alert. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, pero ano, nagpapasalamat ako doon sa mga kapatid nating Muslim, lalo na doon sa pinag-shootinga namin sa Kiyapo. Uh -oh. Kasi talagang iningatan nila kami. Hindi, hindi sila basta-basta mm -hmm. nagpapapasok hindi. sa mosque, di ba? Napakahigpit nila kami yeah. yung, uh, pwede ba sabihin yun tayo yung first time na ano? Uh, uh, basta binigyan tayo. Uh, basta binigyan tayo VIP. Uh -huh. VIP oh. kami doon. No? Talagang all kasi, out yung tulong nila. Kasi nga ang mission, ang, ang topic, ang, ang yeah. pinigyan ko na Gustong gusto nila yung film talaga. Mm -mm. Oh, so they've seen it, have they? Uh, nakatutok sila dun Part sa... Part sila ng... Oh, okay. Cast din sila cast yung din iba. Sila. Mm. yung iba. Oh, that's interesting. Sobrang supo supporta sila. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. um, so you were talking about what you want this movie to tell audiences. Um, what, if there's anything, if there's one thing that you want 
a message that you want to get across, what would it be? I would want everybody to know yeah. that there are so many reasons why uh, terrorism exists in Mindanao. Uh, this is the reason why um, if we cannot stop that, there will be continuous influx of supporters to the other side. Mm -mm. And we have to tell them now that this is the right thing. Uh, in the movie, pinakita namin doon na yung mga maling paniniwala, yung mga uh, akala, yung poverty, yung tugunan ng ISIS, anong pangangailangan mo, so that you will join us because of money, because of drugs, mm. uh, because of easy money. Um, yun yung gusto kong ipaabot sa lahat ng mga Pilipino. Ito yung katotohanan na nangyayari hanggang sa ngayon sa Mindanao because of poverty, lack of education, at patuloy na paging bingi ng pamahalaan para tugunan ang mga problema nito. Uh, if government will not address this problem as soon as possible, hindi ako, uh, hindi magiging imposible na magkakaroon, magkakaroon pa ng maraming mga isnilo na pilon mm -mm. sa Mindanao. What do you think the government should do? Well, government should address this problem. Mm. Number one, um, kailangan yung mga, if, if you're just in Mindanao, you're seeing um, napakaraming mga kabataan doon na namamatay na lang na hindi natitreat dahil hindi nadala sa ospital. Mm -mm. Um, dahil kahit nasabihin natin na libre na ngayon sa ospital dahil may feel health, wala silang pambayad, pamasahe pa kung sa ospital. Yeah. Kahit sabihin na natin na mayroong libreng pamahalaan, mayroong, mayroong eskwelahan, wala silang uh, pamasahe pa kung school. Wala silang pambaon, mm. wala silang pangkain. Mas inuuna nila yung pagkain nila kaysa edukasyon. Mm -hmm. So, um, kailangan tugunan ito ng pamahalaan. Uh, sana mawala ang korupsyon dahil itong pinanggigilingan ng lahat. And um, kulang na kulang pa rin hanggang sa sabihin ng, ng administration ng gobyerno na we've done enough. Mm -hmm. uh, nasa, nasa local leaders ang problema. It's not about that. Mm -hmm. It's about the government's political will. No? Sabihin mo natin ngayon, daming gera ngayon. Sige, pag, pag, kasi dati, di ba, reactionary. Pag may nakidap, tsaka ka pa lamang tutugisin. Uh, although ngayon, uh, sinasabi ng, ng gobyerno na, oh, palagi kaming tumutugis, palagi tumutugis. Pero hanggang saan? Tugis lang ba? Sana mm -hmm. sa pagtugis, nandito rin yung gumagawa ka ng mga daan, gumagawa ka ng maraming eskulahan, tinutugoy maraming pangailangan para sa pagkain. Mm -hmm. So, government should really to look mm -hmm. into this uh, okay. problems. And for Martin also, um, what do you want Sajid's story to tell audiences? Uh, marami. Uh, gusto kong hindi lang mapanood nila o maintindihan nila. Gusto kong ma maramdaman din nila talaga kung ano yung kung ano yung mensaheng hatid ng pelikula, kung ano yung naging uh, epekto o kung ano yung nangyari doon sa Marawi. Mm -hmm. uh, kasi para sa akin, ay opener din ito. Uh, sana mas lumawak din yung pag-iisip ng lahat una doon sa mga kapatid natin na Muslim na kasi kahit sila sinasabi nila ayaw nila yung nangyari. Yeah. Baka raw parang isipin ng tao na porket doon nang, sa nangyari yun eh, lahat na ng Muslim ay eh, ganun. Mm. Siyempre marami rin mga mapagmahal dyan at uh, gusto ng katahimikan ng mga kapatid natin Muslim. At um, sana mas ano uh, yung aral ba sa mga tao, mas mabuksan pa yung isip nila para maiwasan natin yung ganong pangyayap. Mm -hmm. and, and there are uh, uh, soldiers, though uh, they're jubilant about, uh, uh, about the, the defeat of the, the Maute group, uh, soldiers really uh, consider it's not triumph, it's not, uh, it's not victory because um, unless um, 
government can really solve this problem hindi hindi uh, pagkapanalo ang hinahanap ng mga sundalo at maintindihan niya na may mas malalim pa na problema na kailangan uh, isolve ng gobyerno at ang gobyerno ay tayo okay all right on that note um, this has been Rappler Talk Entertainment. Thank you, Cesar and Martin, for joining Salamat. me. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, we're going to play the trailer now, so stay tuned. Don't go yet. We're going to go, but the trailer will be playing. Um, ang mission, a Marawi siege story, will be in cinemas on May 30. Kayo ay dapat mag-alay ng buhay para sa misyong ito. Sa isang misyong nagsimula ang lahat. Buhay sa buhay, imam. Hindi terorismo ang isang. Alaw sa tunay na naganap sa Marawi. Takal ako sumusunod sa maling paraan. Sama na rin yung nasa miyembro rin pala nila. We're moving forward tonight, sir. Mabuti pa dalhin natin sila sa kabila ng lawa. Naghintay mga kasamahan natin doon. Magagamot sila. Ang misyon. A Marawi Siege Story, directed by Cesar Soriano, May 30, 2018, in cinemas.